Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. Today's lesson focuses on creating inequalities or systems of inequalities, a high emphasis topic on the task test. An inequality is a relation that makes a non-equal comparison between either two numbers or two mathematical expressions. It basically states that the two quantities either are not equal or may not be equal. And an inequality uses four symbols. We are familiar with these symbols. We have the less than symbol, the greater than symbol, less than or equals, greater than or equals. In class, I always get asked, how do you know which one is less than? Here's a trick. If you have your symbol and it looks like you can write the word less, then it means less than. Therefore, the other one has to be greater than. And you have the less than or equals if you have a, like an equal sign under, then that's when we know we have the equal portion. Now we're familiar with the standard meaning for the inequality symbols. However, when you get into the word problems, they don't use the standard meaning. They use different word phrases and you have to be familiar with what those word phrases represents as your inequality. Less than is paired with word phrases such as under, below, lower, and fewer. If it is greater than, it is paired with more than, larger than, longer than, higher than, exceeds. I find for the less than and greater, students are more proficient. However, for the less than or equals or the greater than or equals, this is where I find some students struggle. For less than or equals, the word phrases that are used at most. At most is a most popular one used on the test. If you see is at most, it means less than or equals is not greater than, does not exceed, has a maximum value, this is another popular one, and is no more than, another popular one. So I've noticed that the popular ones for less than or equals to is the word at most, maximum value, and is no more than. For greater than or equals to, at least, this is another popular one, so if you see at least, it means greater than or equals to. Is not less than, is not under, has a minimum value, that's another popular one that indicates greater than or equals to, is more than or equals to. I would suggest that you get accustomed to these word phrases so that when you're reading your word problem, you can identify the correct inequality symbol. Now, when you're given your word problem, the first thing I need for you to do is to read through the entire problem. I find at times students just read the problem and when they get to that key word, they stop, they forget about the context of the problem, and they go about choosing an inequality symbol. Always read through your word problem in its entirety. After you've done that, highlight any important keywords or phrases that are needed to solve the problem. And after you've done that, identify the correct variables and the inequality symbol. So my first word problem state, Pat has his own lawnmower service. The maximum pack charges to mow a lawn is $20, which inequality represents the amount pack could charge C to mow a lawn. So my keyword here is maximum. And whenever we see that word maximum, it means less than or equals to. Our variable is C. So if I had to write this inequality, it would be C less than or equals to 20. My answer is D. Also, another keyword here was inequality. That word inequality would have excluded C because it has an equal sign, meaning that C represents an equation. 
Sam can finish a running course in 6.5 minutes. His goal is to reduce his time to 5 minutes. Which inequality represents times t Sam could achieve that meet his goal? Our keyword here is to reduce. His goal is to reduce his time to 5 minutes, meaning less than or equals to 5. And the t is our variable. So we're looking for t less than or equals to 5. We can eliminate a. Our answer is b. Use the picture below to answer the question. Speed limit 35. On a street, a car can travel no more than 35 miles per hour, which inequality represents this situation. Now our keyword here is no more. Whenever you say no more, it means less than or equals. So they're using a variable of s, so s is less than or equals to 35. And notice the context of this problem. We're talking about a speed limit. So if the speed limit is 35, it means the maximum that you can go is 35, which means 35 miles per hour or less. So our answer is B. A coach of a baseball team orders hats for the players on his team. Each hat costs $9.95. The shipping charge for the entire order is $5. There is no tax on the order. The total cost of the coach's order is less than $125, which inequality can be used to determine the greatest number of hats H the coach orders. Now this H right here, which is our variable, is going to go with the hats. So I see here that each hat costs $9.95. So H is going to be paired with $9.95. It says is less than. Is less than means we're going to use the less than inequality symbol. Let's go into our problems and we can eliminate A because it has a greater than. Okay, our answer could be B. We can eliminate C because it has a greater than symbol. So our answer is either B or D. Remember the H is paired with $9.95. So over here, our H is paired with the $5. That is incorrect. The $5 is the shipping charge. So that's all by itself. The H is with the $9.95. Answer is D. Notice how I use the process of elimination to get my answer. Manny goes bowling. He has $25 to spend. He spends $4.25 to rent shoes. He spends $2.50 for each game he bowls. Which inequality can Manny use to determine x, the number of games he can bowl? x is going to be paired with the number of games. He spends $2.50 for each game he bowls, so X is going to be paired with that. He has $25 to spend, which means he can spend less than or equals to $25. We can eliminate A because the inequality sign is incorrect. It has a greater than or equals. We can also eliminate B because it has a greater than or equals. Our answer is C or D. Now the $2.50 we know should have an X next to it. This does not. Answer is D. A student is ordering a flower arrangement. She can choose any combination of roses and carnations for her flower arrangement. And she does not want to spend more than $30. If roses cost $3 each and carnations cost $2 each, which inequality represents all possible combinations of X roses and Y carnations. So the X is paired with the roses. Roses cost $3, so X is going to be paired with the 3. Y is with the carnations, and they cost $2. Also, it states that she does not want to spend more than 30, which means no more than 30. That would indicate 
less than or equals to 30. So we're looking for a less than or equals. So I can eliminate A and I can eliminate C as well because that has a greater. So my answer is either B or D. Let's check on our variables. X is supposed to be paired with the 3. Answer is B. Mr. Garcia needs at least 60 paintbrushes for his art classes. He has 22 paintbrushes already and will buy more paintbrushes in packages of 8. Which inequality can be used to find how many packages of paintbrushes P Mr. Garcia needs to buy in order to have at least 60 paintbrushes? The word at least is our clue for our inequality sign. At least means greater than or equals to 60. We can eliminate A because that has less than or equals. And we can eliminate C because that has an inequality sign of less than or equals. We are either choosing between B or D. But remember, it said he already has 22 and he's going to buy more. More indicates a Addition, going to be your 8P plus the 22 that he has already. Answer is D. When it comes to the word problems, read them carefully. They're usually real world scenarios and also use a bit of common sense. I find sometimes students take common sense out of the equation. Sometimes common sense will help you. Jordan works for a landscape company during his summer vacation. He's paid $12 per hour for mowing lawns and $14 per hour for planting gardens. He can work a maximum of 40 hours per week and would like to earn at least $250 this week. If M represents the number of hours mowing lawns and G represents the number of hours planting gardens, which system of inequalities could be used to represent the given condition. Here we have a system of inequalities. And remember when you see the word system, it means you're going to have two equations. Now we did systems of linear equations. I did a video on that. And remember when I did that video, I said, okay, when you're doing these systems of linear inequalities, you're going to pair like terms with like terms. And what do I mean by that? Money goes with money. So this $12 and this $14 is going to go with the $250. Now let's check on our variables. M represents the number of hours mowing the lawns. He charges, well not he charges, he, he's paid $12 per hour for mowing lawns. So the M is with the 12, which means that the G is with the 14. So you have 12M plus 14G. And notice here, at least, at least means greater than or equals to 250. I always tell my students, if you figure out one equation, just go in and look for it. You can start to eliminate the ones that are incorrect. So number one right here, you have the 12M and the 14G greater than possibility. Okay, this says less, so we're going to eliminate two. This says less, so we're going to eliminate three. So our answer is either one or four. Now he can work a maximum of 40 hours. So that's M plus G, because if you're lost, just look to see what they have. M plus G, and then you have the 40. Now, because it says maximum, because it's a maximum, it's going to be less than or equals. Our answer is number one. Gretchen has $50 that she can spend at the fair. Ride tickets cost $1.25 each and game tickets cost $2 each. She wants to go on a minimum of 10 rides and play at least 12 games. Which system of inequalities represents this situation when R is the number of ride tickets and G is the number of game tickets? 
like terms with like terms money with money so the 50 the dollar 25 and the 2 will all be paired together now the dollar and 25 cents will have the variable r and the 2 will have the variable g so we have 1.25 r plus 2 g you have the 50 and because it said that she can spend $50, she has $50 to spend, it's going to be less than or equal. She has 50, so she can spend less than that or she can spend equal to 50. Let's go into our answer choices and eliminate. Okay, so I can eliminate one. Okay, this says less than or equals, this is good. Less than or equals, also good, and we can eliminate four. It says here she wants to go on a minimum of 10 rides. So you have your rides, you have 10. What does minimum mean? Minimum means greater than or equals. And she wants to play at least 12 games. So the games are G and we have 12 of them. And the word at least means greater than or equals. So let's look at number two. You have R greater than or equals to 10 and G greater than or equals to 12. Answer is number two. Last one. A manager is determining the number of hours to assign to part-time employees, which are B, and full-time employees, K. These are the conditions the manager must follow. The budget allows for only 400 total hours which means less than or equals to 400, cannot go over. Part-time employees are to work less than three quarters of the total hours of full-time employees. Which system of inequalities can the manager use to determine the number of hours to determine the number of hours to assign to each type of employee? We can use this right here. Part-time employees, so part-time employees are B, are to work less than three quarters of the full-time employee. We're looking for B less than three over four K. Okay, can eliminate A. B looks promising. Okay, can eliminate C. And D looks promising. But remember, it said that the budget allows for only 400 total hours. If I look at B, this can be excluded because this is saying that the total hours are greater than or equals to 400. It only allows for 400, so we're looking for a less than or equals. Answer is D. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck on your task examination. And remember, please like and subscribe if you like the content.